Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Stake Insanity. Today is day, I don't know, 98, 98 of my carnivore diet. Um, I've pretty much stopped counting these days. I, I'm not doing videos as much because I'm not doing videos unless I really have something to say. I have quite a, what I think is quite a funny one um, tonight. It's either going to get me canceled or it'll probably be... <laughs> It'll probably be my biggest, most popular one ever, but we'll see. Diet's been going well. Uh, we'll start off with that stuff. So diet's been going well, been going to the gym, getting my workouts in. I went for a 7K walk with my wife today. Everything's been fine. My weight has... So I've decided I still weigh every day, but what I'm looking at is I'm now looking at the monthly averages because I think that's the most telling because it goes up and down all the time. And I think it's steadily been coming down month on month. But again, that's not why I'm doing it. But I know people are interested. And actually, I do have something else I want to talk about as well. But it's, yeah, it's fine. I feel fine. I feel amazing, which is great. I'm getting much better sleep. The working out and, you know, doing a little bit of exercise and then doing the running on the weekends is really... I think is a good balance for me. So I'm spending a lot more time lifting weights now than I have in the past probably five years, really. So that's been really good. And I feel much better for that. So diet wise, <clears throat> everything's been going fine. <coughs> Excuse me. I do get a bit of hay fever around this time of the year. And it hasn't really helped with that. But I didn't expect it to. That's very much a seasonal thing. So starting to be spring in the UK. It's getting warmer and warmer every day. All the trees are now blooming. All the flowers are out. All the grass is growing. Personally, I'm allergic to grass pollen. So when the grass starts to really grow and some of the certain plants come out, then my allergies just get out of control. So I just take an antihistamine and everything's fine, but it does make my eyes water and everything else quite a lot. I know we've talked the whole time about what I eat and I talk about cheating and eating peanuts and nuts and all that sort of stuff. And I watched another video today by the carnivore marriage and it was really interesting. And they were talking about cheating and what you eat and testing different foods. And I made a comment on that video, which I thought I would talk about here. This isn't the bit that's going to get me canceled. I'll get to that in a minute. But I, th I do think it very much, this whole concept of cheating on the diet or are you eating nuts or not, or do you eat peanuts or not, or do you have caffeine or not, or do you have this or not, or are you only eating B, 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 and E? I think it very, very much depends on why you're doing the diet. Carnivore diet is, is good for a couple of different reasons. I think if you're strictly doing it to lose weight and you want something to help you stay disciplined and to help your body be able to burn the fat and to lose the weight, then I think it's very important that you stay quite strict on the diet because the mechanics of how the diet works for fat loss really require you to not have any of the sugar or have any of the other things that are outside of strictly the, the the meat and 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 eggs it's not a lion diet the lion diet is different lion diet is literally meat salt and water that's not strictly carnivore carnivore you can have other things you can have different types of meats you can have chicken and venison and all sorts of different things you can have fish so i think if you're doing it for weight loss you stay strict to the diet you stick to meats you have as basically nothing else. However, if you're doing it for the elimination aspect of the diet, then I, th I think it's what you need to do is you need to go strict on the diet, see if that relieves your symptoms. If it does relieve your symptoms, then at that point, you then need to start testing and you need to try other things to see 
what you can and can't eat at the same time. Now, I know there's people like Michaela Peterson and she's tested it and like she's the poster girl for carnivore diet. And I know Jordan Peterson has also done it and he's one of the poster people for carnivore diet. And they're very strict because their physical, whatever their physical problems are that they're trying to correct with the diet, they've worked out that that's exactly what they need to eat. But for me personally, and for a lot of other people, I suspect that it's something else. There's probably one thing that was, it could have just been the aspartame that I was drinking in, in diet sodas all the time, because I know now I have an instant reaction if I have aspartame. And I can even tell if I have something that has aspartame in it, because I start getting the arthritis and, and that pain back. But if I don't do that, I can have ice cream, I can have peanuts, I can have macadamia nuts. And for me, it doesn't cause the pain. So I test, I've started testing more some other foods. I don't, I haven't had, I don't eat bread, I don't eat any of, I don't eat wheat, I don't eat any of that stuff because I don't want to because I know that makes me feel bloated and I know I don't react well to that. But I don't think there's anything wrong with testing a few different things and kind of seeing what is good for you and what's bad for you. So I guess my point is, and what their point was, I think in their video was, you know, you can't, you can't get too worked up over beating yourself up if you do have something that is outside of what you normally want. You have to decide what you want and what's good for you. And then you have to do that thing. <clears throat> Yeah, it may not strictly according to the detailed rules of the diet, which I've never seen written down, but everybody has a different view of it. Maybe what you maybe what I'm doing you would some people would call ketovore. Some people would call it carnivore. Other people would say it's no diet at all, I just don't eat bread. But ninety nine percent of everything that I eat is strict on the carnivore diet. Okay, 90% of everything I eat is strict carnivore, except for some peanuts or some macadamia nuts. And I'm okay with that because I know I can eat it because it doesn't make my joints hurt and it doesn't make me feel bad. So I guess that was that was the main thing that had just come up, which really prompted me. It was one of the things that prompted me to want to do this video tonight. The other one is is slightly more humorous and a little bit less serious. And... And which is the one that I think may get me canceled. And and I'll we'll put it in the title. But my question is, and this is something that I've just noticed, is as I am losing fat on my body, um <laughs> my penis looks bigger. And I think that's hilarious. And it's not because it's had any impact on the size of my penis. It's just the fact that because I'm losing fat in my pelvic area, it actually makes it appear bigger, which I don't know how you're going to react to that, but I think it's hilarious. And um, so I'm probably going to put it in the title just to try and see if I can get more views. But in appearance, visually, it actually appears that it's bigger, um, certainly longer anyway. And um, that's not something that I expected to happen at all. Um, but it's another one of those funny little side effects. And I don't, having thought about it, I don't think that this is particularly specifically a male thing. I suspect that probably as women are losing weight as well, that they're going to lose weight around their pelvic area. And it's going to make that whole area just maybe a little bit nicer. They might be a little bit happier with the way they look down there. I know I'm happier with the way I look down there. And I suspect... I, I just can't recall anybody ever having talked about that, but it's it totally makes sense. You know, as you remove fat from around the base down there, it's going to give you visually a little bit more uh, to see. So anyway, I'm curious to know if if anybody's brave enough to put anything in the comments to say, yeah, actually, do you know what? I've noticed that as well. Or if there's a link to somebody else that's talked about it, I'd be more than happy to see it because... I think it's hilarious and I think it's a funny conversation to have, but you know, there we go. So 
How do you feel about it? If you're a man, have you noticed the same thing as you've lost weight? Have, have you noticed that it looks different down there? Or maybe you're a, a woman and your spouse has done the diet and you've noticed that there's a difference or not. I don't know. Curious to find out. But uh, let's see what happens with the video. Either it's going to get no shares because I've said the word penis three times now in it. And the, and the topic is something that YouTube doesn't want to promote or... Tons of people are going to look at it because they're curious to see what the answer is. I don't know. Anyway, I will leave you with that wonderful thought for the evening, and we will catch up again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.